Hi, we're in the engine compartment, engine bay of a Ford F100 truck. Uh, this thing's a serious, serious contender here. <laughs> it's a 351 uh, Ford engine, air gap, Edelbrock aluminum intake manifold on it, Holly carburetor, hooker headers, I'm going to call them inch and five eighths, uh, long tube headers on this guy, a set of Edelbrock chrome valve pan covers. Mallory billet distributor in it, Ford high silicone racing wires on it. Uh, all the cables that I can see, fuel lines, everything are all braided stainless. It does have a, a serpentine drive system in the front with billet wheels on the front of it. You know, your, your uh, alternator, uh, power steering pump, fan, which there is an electric fan in the front of it, and uh, damper. It's all billet aluminum. A huge, huge, high volume, high flow. Um, it's at least a four pass aluminum radiator. Gigantic size of that radiator. I can't believe how big this thing is. And actually, the uh, reservoir on top also. It does have a uh, billet aluminum overflow bottle on this side. You can't see from where you're at on the uh, video, but it is here. Um, it, the uh, wheel wells on the inside are the original style wheel wells for the Ford. They are um, steel yet. And uh, excellent condition. They're like a semi-flat black finish on them. Uh, real nice looking engine compartment on this thing. It has a hydraulic uh, uh, cylinder for apparently, this is a stick I'm assuming because it has a hydraulic cylinder on it for the uh, clutch actuation. Power steering and power brakes. It has both power steering and brakes. Uh, appears to be a new two-stage two uh, master cylinder on it and also a new uh, a vacuum booster. Um, brand new windshield wiper motor on it, new battery. I don't see a single thing on this engine that's out of place. It, uh, uh, someone spent a lot of time and a lot of effort putting this vehicle together. There's no leaks whatsoever on the um, timing chain set up in the front or the, either one of the valve pan covers. And I don't see anything on the back part of the engine either. So we'll check it out from underneath. But looking from on top here, there's absolutely no leakage whatsoever. This thing's going to make some serious horsepower, uh, judging from the components that are on it. I don't know the actual horsepower rating, but I'm sure it's going to be into the 400 horsepower range at some point. Uh, fantastic engine compartment. It does have steering and brakes. Um, it is a 351 built Windsor engine and uh, it's inside of this Ford F100 truck. So you got yourself a really, really strong running uh, little piece of uh, history here. It's a 1956 F100 uh, with a modern driveline in it. It does have a 351 Windsor built engine in it power steering, power, disc brakes in the front, and we're going to go around the outside and show you every little tiny imperfection that we can pick out on it. So let's get started. It has a nice, uh, it's like a wine burgundy color uh, finish on it. It uh, looks like it's laid on very well. There's no fading or anything in it or no blotching in the uh, metallic in the paint. Uh, nice finish. The, uh, the hood fitment is very nice. It's obviously 1950, so it's not quite the quality that you're going to find in vehicles today. But the uh, fitment of the hood, which is steel, by the way, it's not a fiberglass hood or a fiberglass front end. This is all steel. Um, the hood fitment to the uh, fender is really, really nice. Finish is nice. Fitment on this side is the same way. It's actually very, very good. Very good. We'll go down just a hair. You can see that it would fit a little bit better if we just adjusted it down just a hair. Uh, V8 designation in the front because that's what it is. It is a 351 HO uh, Windsor motor. Uh, the grill, the whole front fascia on this thing is painted that wine burgundy color like the rest of the vehicle. Gives it a nice dramatic look to it. The vehicle's been lowered. A uh, nice chrome accentuated uh, trim around the uh, headlight basils. Nice clear amber parking lamps on it also. This side the same way. I tell you the fit and finish on the front of this is very, very good. Um, 
I don't know if you can call that a bumper or not. It feels like uh, just a piece of a tin on the front, but uh, it's really fit well into the front end of this vehicle. Uh, everything lines up as it should. Uh, the grill area, which is also everything on it except the headlight basils, is painted uh, uh, wine burgundy color. And it has a nice fit, nice finish. Uh, great paint job on it. Really a nice paint job on this car. Uh, nice front end. Let's go down the side and see what we can show you there. Okay, driver's side of our F100. Um, again, you can see all tin, really nice. Uh, the roll under on the fenders is still present, nothing really disrupted there. All new uh, rubber moldings that uh, they used back in the day to make the panels together so that there was no metal on metal abrasion. So the fender is mounted to this cowl area and there's a piece of rubber beading that goes across it. it has the correct wiper arms and blades, polished stainless just the way it should be. How's this for air conditioning? Flap that comes up, grabs the air. And you have your, your first Astro ventilation system back in 1956 yet. Uh, new rubber around the front windshield, which I don't know, it appears to be tinted to me, but I can't definitively tell you it is. But it does appear to be tinted glass in this vehicle. The dashboard itself has no padding on it, and it's painted the same color as the vehicle. And where it transitions onto the base of the windshield, just as nice and clean and clear as you'd ever hope to find. The roof, I can't see the top of it, but um, uh, it doesn't appear that there's any marks whatsoever that I can see the portion that I can. There's no uh, trim or anything on the drip rail. It's just painted the same color as the vehicle. Nice set of uh, mirrors on it, both sides actually, uh, left and right. Uh, beating around the uh, window where it seals is just all nice fresh stainless and nice white whiskers that go completely around the perimeter of the uh, uh, door for the window glass ceiling. Door itself has a little bit of an overset there. The door could be adjusted in just a hair. And another feature this vehicle has, it has a self-locking system. So you can hit this button that unlocks the doors and you can open them but they also lock themselves. Uh, back window, same way as the front. It appears to be tinted and the rubber is absolutely brand new fresh. Paint on the cab, the cab corners, Everything seems to be solid. The bed itself, um, we'll show you in the back, does have wood on it with stainless uh, uh, dividers. Running boards, painted the same color as the vehicle. Really heavy, heavy uh, metal running boards on this thing, so I don't think there's any problem with standing on them to get in. I don't understand why the door's not locking. It usually locks itself. There, it did. Uh, bed, no marks on the inside or the outside. From uh, it's a single piece of tin here. So if you have, you know, carrying a load of rocks through the years or something, you know, it would put dents in it. This has absolutely none. Nice fresh looking sides on it. Again, tin fenders in the back. The roll under is just as fresh and nice and clean as it could possibly be. Whole side of this vehicle is that way. I mean, everything lines up as it should. Hood could go down just a hair, and this door could go in just a hair also. But other than that, it has a set of side exhaust coming out on, underneath the uh, running boards toward the back. Polished aluminum torque thrust wheels on this vehicle. Gives it a real nice dramatic look. Uh, they are aluminum, they're not, they don't appear to be chrome-plated, they are polished aluminum. Uh, really great looking vehicle on the sides, it gives it a nice dramatic look and all of this uh, burgundy uh, wine color with a few chrome accents on it really give it a nice dramatic look to it. Let's go out back and see what we can find there. Okay, back end of our little Ford F100. 
Uh, tailgate, you see it's just one solid piece of uh, metal. It has Ford written along the bottom where the bumper would normally be, the, uh, I will call it the lower uh, uh, fascia on the uh, rear of this vehicle. What's really nice and very well finished, I hope you can see it in the uh, uh, video, is uh, this appears to be oak to me. I could be wrong, but it appears to be oak, and it's really finished to a furniture type of finish. It has stainless steel dividers, and this is where the fuel goes. This is where you fill the uh, uh, fuel tank. Built an aluminum piece in the uh, uh, bed of the truck. Fantastic, fantastic uh, fitment and finish of this bed. I can't believe the degree of uh, perfection they went to to go ahead and finish this uh, wood and separators on it. Really a good looking truck so far. Really, really good looking. It also has, um, they appear to be some type of a stainless uh, faster to uh, keep the uh, tailgate shut. So back end of this thing is just as nice and fresh as can be. Also, the Ford, 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 Ford is the tail lights on these vehicles. Uh, there's no, as you see, it's so clean, there's no uh, uh, turn signals or there's no um, brake light uh, parking lights on it. But they are behind the word Ford. That's where the uh, uh, lenses are. So whenever you hit the brakes, it's going to light up Ford. Pretty neat. Okay, passenger side, F100. Um, again, all tin. Fenders, everything. Nice roll under. Um, there's absolutely no indication that there's ever been any rust or repair or anything to this vehicle. It is all tin. Back of the cab, same way as the other side. Trim around the window. There's no marks whatsoever in this bed, by the way, even the front part of it for something shifting forward or banging back. There's absolutely no dents whatsoever in the sides, the rear uh, tailgate, or the front part of this bed. It's just as though it was just manufactured by Ford. Um, this door definitely has to be adjusted in. You can see that. It definitely needs to be adjusted in. The uh, cab corners, everything on this is all tin just the way it should be. Trim around this window is the same as the other one. Uh, nice uh, stainless beading with the wipes whiskers on the inside. Forgot to mention the door handle on the other side is absolutely flawless and so is this one. And again, a nice mirror on this side to complement the one on that side. Uh, chip in the paint right here and here. We're gonna have to brush touch those two parts. Somehow there's a chip. I don't know what happened. Somebody must have had something weighing against it when they went to close the wood. It's not dented, it's just chipped in the paint. Just a brush touch on the very edge, that's it. Again, our beading, tin. It's a very nice truck. Um, 1956 Ford F100 with a modern driveline in it, 351. Windsor built engine, air gap intake, uh, Holly carburetor, front disc brakes, nice big set of uh, uh, torque thrust wheels on it, all fresh rubber on it, side exhaust. Uh, this truck has a lot of uh, things to offer somebody. I mean, it, it's a very good looking vehicle. Uh, it has a great color combination to it. It's a nice plain looking thing. It's not over dramatic with any type of uh, uh, paint schemes or striping or anything else or two-toning. It's a monotone um, burgundy wine type color. Uh, it's all tin. There's no uh, fiberglass that I can detect in this vehicle anywhere. Everything, even the front and back fascias are uh, uh, all metal. They are not uh, fiberglass like you see in a lot of these vehicles. Uh, very, very well done, very tastefully done, very expensive vehicle to do to this degree. You're not going to pay anywhere close to what somebody had in this vehicle, but it is available here at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And I uh, encourage everybody to come down and take a look at it. Drive the train. Put it up on a rack. We'll talk about it. You can spend all day looking at it. Uh, but if you can't make it there, that's why we're doing this video for you, so that you can see everything that I just saw. And I pointed out, you can see I'm not making everything flawless. There are two chips. Hood needs adjusted down, that door needs to go in a little bit, this needs to go in a lot. Um, other than that, I mean, this, this guy is, other than a few adjustments, 
it's as nice as you're going to ever find anywhere. Okay, we're inside of our 56 F100 Ford truck. Really neat rig. This thing is, uh, I really never paid any attention to it until I uh, got a chance to do this video and uh, take a look at this thing. But this thing is really over the top uh, engineering wise and quality wise. I mean, I'm just totally amazed that uh, uh, the degree this vehicle's been done to. It has black velour interior in it. Uh, this is really nice, soft, well padded uh, seat in it, and it's done in black velour. Also, diamond tufted headliner in this thing. Real nice thick padding just like the seat is. Uh, and also done in black velour. Uh, a real leather steering wheel in it. Brushed aluminum in the center. Brushed stainless for the fascia on the uh, dashboard. Brushed stainless. Speedometer, tachometer, fuel, temperature, volt, and uh, oil pressure. Uh, aluminum uh, Accents on the gas pedal, the brake pedal, the clutch pedal, uh, the uh, dimmer switch, and the parking brake cable also. Check this out. It even has tilt steering in it. How about that? Pretty neat. Alpine sound system in it. Pretty high end. Um, same radio they used to use in Lamborghinis. So you know that somebody at this point in time really spent some money uh, doing this. It, it's, a, it's a very well done vehicle. It has cut pile carpeting in it. Uh, it is a three-pedal car, uh, four-speed. Uh, I can't imagine you could find a nicer-looking vehicle anywhere. It has brushed stainless panels on the doors. It has auxiliary speakers. It has some custom-looking uh, window cranks and door actuators on it. And it does have a remote for opening and uh, locking this vehicle also. And it does function. Handle for opening and closing our uh, Astro ventilation system. And uh, it's just a fantastic vehicle, very, very high quality. I didn't realize this thing was as uh, high a quality of vehicle until uh, at this point when I'm going over it and uh, looking at all the uh, uh, things that they did to make this truck into what it is at this point. It's a very, very high end uh, 56 Ford F100. Strong, modern driveline in it. Fantastic vehicle. Thing we got here in our F100 super truck. All right, we got a tilt wheel that works. We have a speedometer that I know that works. It was just coming across the parking lot. We got a tachometer working just like it should. Oil pressure gauge carrying nice oil pressure. Water temperature gauge just coming up. Volts are. Volt meter is not showing like it's charging. It's showing 11, 11 volts. I'm going to have to check it out. Uh, we have almost an empty fuel tank, which is about standard for us. Uh, a horn that works. Left turn signal functioning as it should. Lighten up our Ford uh, word in the back. Right turn signal just as it should be. How about that? High beam light working just like it should. Everything in this guy works. I'll let Devin play with the radio. I'm going to assume it works, but I don't know. Uh, let's go for a ride and see what this guy runs like. I'll tell you what, surprisingly, look at this. Let me straighten it out here. Parking as straight as an arrow down the road. I mean, no hands, I still haven't touched it. Let's see if it stops, or at least car goes by. Stops no hands, see how it works. Look at this, no hands. Straight as an arrow. Stops, dead stop. So this is a truck you can take and use 
You can use it anywhere. Take it out on the turnpike and drive it home. Great running rig. Ford F100 truck. A really neat vehicle. I um, just think this has a lot of character to it. A lot of fabrication on it also. They fit a 351 high output Windsor engine in this thing. It has a sump in the front of the oil pan and in the rear. A custom built cradle to hold all this. It has rack and pinion steering as opposed to conventional steering. Double A arm front suspension. How about that? Double A arms. Um, Brand new rotors, brand new calipers, all new uh, braided lines, associated hardware with them. Stainless steel headers, uh, three inch collector off the uh, primary tubes going into three inch pipes that go through two very, very light, small resonators. So basically on this vehicle, you're running straight off of the three inch collectors on the headers. They go out, transition out um, the back part of the running boards. Uh, it has, New shocks in the front, new ball joints, obviously, with the AA arms. The springs appear to be also new. They fabricated a really neat sway bar system for this guy, too, with adjustable uh, end links on it. It has braided stainless lines for pretty much everything on here. Your brake lines, your uh, fuel lines. Everything on this appears to be uh, uh, braided stainless steel lines. Appears to be a uh, Tremec transmission in it. I haven't driven it yet, so we don't know if it's a four-speed or five-speed, whatever it may be, but we'll determine that here shortly. The frame itself is absolutely flawless, just the way it left the factory in 1956. The frame itself is absolutely gorgeous. The floor pans, the same way, absolutely undisrupted, no rust, no deterioration. The supports for the running boards, you can see them, uh, absolutely no rust or no scale, anything on it hands above the uh, uh, running boards, uh, rocker panels, all that is just as nice and clean and fresh as could be. And it's all tin too, none of this is fiberglass. A lot of guys use these and the, uh, put fiberglass components. That's not the case here. Everything that I can see on this thing, the uh, uh, wheel wells, the uh, uh, fenders, running boards, everything is steel, everything. Neat system that they devised here, and so there's not a lot of flex with this thing. They've enclosed a bellows, or incorporated a bellows system on each one of the pipes so that it'll take up some of the stress and not have any cracks in the exhaust system. Again, three inch pipes transitioning out at the base back part of the running board. A new universal joint. You see there's no leaks on the transmission or on the engine itself. Uh, or on the tail shaft, absolutely none. Um, new brake lines toward the rear, uh, braided steel fuel line, the entire length from the uh, tank itself up to the uh, uh, engine, braided stainless. <clears throat> Parking brake still hooked up and functional in this guy too, how about that? Still has the original parking brake assembly. Discs in the front, drums in the rear, um, it has some sort of a four-link rear suspension that someone's devised with a set of coilover shocks that take up the uh, suspension travel in the rear. Nine-inch Ford heavy-duty rear end, new to universal in the back of the drive shaft. The uh, underside of the uh, lumber in the bed is painted black in this case. They probably sealed it from the weather uh, instead of using a polyurethane finish like they did on top to really show the uh, enhance the features of the wood. In this case, they sealed it with a black type of uh, uh, chassis material to keep water from uh, uh, absorbing into the wood from underneath. Pan hard rod to uh, keep the rear end located. 
Again, a really neat uh, system in the back here for a uh, suspension. Uh, everything has uh, Heim joints on it. I don't see any marks whatsoever on this frame anywhere or any of the structural pieces underneath the bed or the, um, the, the main supports from rail to rail on the uh, frame itself. And it is a full box frame. It's a full perimeter box frame on this thing from front to back. <coughs> um, again, tin fenders in the back just like they were in the front. Um, does have, a, appears to be a fuel cell. I don't really know and you can't tell without really you know, cutting one over to take a look, but it appears to be a fuel cell. At any rate, it is a custom-built, fabricated tank to fit in this vehicle, and it's a heavy steel, so I don't think you have to worry about that denting or cutting. This thing is as nice as you could possibly ask for a, uh, a vintage uh, truck. No leaks in the uh, rear differential also, and you can see everything is dry and clean underneath this vehicle everywhere. It's going to be very difficult to find a duplicate of this one, too. We have a lot of one-offs down here lately that uh, are very, very difficult to find a comp no matter where you look, whether it's on eBay or, or um, uh, Classic Cars or wherever, you know. This is going to be a difficult one to find a duplication of. Everything is tin, very well done. Everything is high-end, has a screaming motor in it. Uh, just a really great vehicle. It's available at Hanksters and Daytona Beach, Florida.